everyone. <clears throat> Me and Richard is out eating at Mama Togolese. Mami Togolese. Mami Togolese. Mami Togolese. You mean the pot? Say it again, it means the what? Togolese pot. Togolese pot. So what are you eating over there? We have the same dish. But I'm to eating us. Togo, also called Akasa, back in Togo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have some okra sauce mixed with some bulvaka. I don't know what's the name in English. Mm -hmm. Some soup no. right there, fish soup. What type of fish is it? Oh, it's a carp, also known as tilapia. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, does it taste better when you eat with your hands? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> well, I'm we eating with food this. today. <laughs> we can see that. It's good. All right, so how do you think? Let me set the camera down over there. Okay. So, since we've been in Africa, we've been here for three months. What are your thoughts so far? So far, so good. Can't complain. Everything is fine. And we're moving along. So, that's good. Do you see any big difference in from when we lived in America to us living here now? Yeah. Financially, socially? There's big um, difference. Big lifestyle, difference. the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, you don't have to. Think about this day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to wake up. Mm -hmm. Thinking that you are going to work. Calculating the days. Sometimes I don't even know what days, like what day we need. Because I just don't know. I don't know if today is Friday or Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's kind of. It's kind of to show you like how how easy it is, you know, like where you don't have to think too much. Not that you don't have to do anything because there is some stuff that needs to be done here that we're doing, we're doing our own project. But it's just that life is easy and I don't think life should be that complicated. So do you feel like you just don't have to have a job here because I don't want people to get the wrong impression like tell me where you gotta go <clears throat> you gotta work yeah i mean you gotta walk you gotta do your thing you know because you need money everywhere we go yes i mean we need not. money to survive you know so exactly but you know some people look at it like you could just bring some savings move to africa and live off that savings for the whole time i mean unless you're a millionaire you got it like that but we're yeah, not I saying mean, that if that's your plan that's good i mean you can do that yeah, if your plan is maybe on drawing your money in Africa. I mean, if you had retirement or yeah. you were in the army and you were getting some type of income, but the fact of the matter is, you still have to have some revenue of, of some type of money stream. But mm -hmm. what we're saying is the cost of living itself, like, it's not too stressful where you live in paycheck to paycheck or you trying to wonder, like, you know, I do want to pay this and I do got to pay that. And some people may not have to live like that in America, but even just the, the feeling of living here. To me, as born and raised in America, I still have that, um, that, like that peace. Like, to me, I grew up in the 90s, so I had that relaxation of not being, I had a childhood. You know what I mean? But once I became an, an adult, it's just like the stress of America just got to me. And when I saw the difference of the way people smile here, they have to hear what, whatever they make for that day, they're not really stressing about tomorrow. That's, that's just my thing. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing much, I mean, it's... <laughs> 
it's not easy to come here, you know. Uh, as you know, I was I was born in Africa. I was born in Africa. I was from Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I came to I want people to see me. They already saw you before. Y'all didn't to the camera. No, I mean, you you want people to see your face and you want to talk to me into the camera right here. Okay. I didn't want to put my hand in it, but go ahead. I'm too dark. Who are you saying? Yeah, I was saying I was born here, so it's probably a little easy for me to, to uh, how they call it, Adjust. Yeah, to adjust and also to um, to see exactly, to know what's good, what's bad, who to trust and who not to trust, you know, and stuff like that, to uh, invest, you know, because, I mean, as a, somebody that coming from another country that don't know nothing about Africa, it's kind of difficult. So Which is me. Yeah, but it's just, you have to make sure that you're in the right spot and dealing with the right people because I mean everywhere you go you probably find some type of you know association or something you know that helping foreigner you know especially people from other countries like black from like uh, American yeah or people from yeah, black American you know easier you know you can find people like that to help you but like I was saying <coughs> You just have to try to invest, you know, you can't just come and take that uh, it will be easy, you know, nah. and you have to love Africa, that's one of the things. You can come here and then thinking that everything will be like uh, in the United States. Mm -hmm. So, that's another thing too. But, you don't need much here, you know. You don't need much, like if you have a little bit of something, you know, like, I mean, you have a, a business that, you know, like, that you get your money day by day out of it, or maybe, you know, here people get paid monthly, you know, so, you know, you don't get paid weekly, you know, by weekly, it's only monthly. So, if you can get something roughly, like, five, $500, that can, you know, something that can, Put five hundred dollars in your pocket every month. That's already good. That's already good. Take off your rent. If you rent, uh, the easiest thing is to get a house. You know, buy a house if you can. You know, and that's even cheaper for you to live. Well, we had to rent when we moved here. Yeah, we have to rent. My dad have a house here, and but we didn't want to go over there. You know, we have to rent. Which you know. Which is good for us too. I mean, it's helping us, you know. Um, and we did it back in 2016. We we purchased our land, so our plan is to. But y'all post the video, so please like and subscribe, so you can get all the new videos that's coming up, um, and hit the bell notification so you'll know when they're coming. But I uploaded a video of um, the progression of our land from 2016 up until the current day and um i mean it's, it's a process like even just to relocate is a process because you gotta you have to have money you know what i mean and you have to come with a plan don't drink my juice richard don't drink my juice no, richard you taste it already <sighs> mm -hmm. cocktail that is also a good juice Really? It's better than Fanta. It's a soda, but it's made in Africa. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a cocktail, like mix of food. So, what do you want to tell people about um, how we started the farm and stuff like that? And what type of business? Like, we saw before we came what needed to be done in Africa, like some business that we can start. And I chose the salon, he chose to do farming, but do you see any other business opportunities that people could come and try to start? Because if don't come to Africa thinking you can get a job, 
I mean, you can get a job, but it's just easier if you have your own, your own, your own business that you started to contribute to the community. I mean, you can come and be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that, but to me, I'd rather have my own business. Yep, it's always better to work for yourself. But you know, where nobody really to wants to tell you what to do. You know. mm -hmm. And there's a lot of opportunity here. Like, uh, like somebody was saying, Africa is like a vast, you know, like I mean, a land of opportunities. So everything, you come here and you see. I mean, but you like you're doing the best. Of your head? You there's, there's a lot. I know there's a lot. There's doing. farming and. Uh, if you're good on farming and stuff, you know, people, a lot of people don't really bother, especially people that went to school. They don't like farming too much because they feel like they went to school, you know, to have like to sit in the office, you know, and stuff like that. So a lot of them want to do like little stuff like farming, which is sad, but that is where, you know, the money is, you know. And that's one of the reasons why we invest on, you know, stuff like that when we came here in 2000 what's the no 2016 16 yeah i just went straight and uh we researched our first name mm -hmm. which was like a about four acre mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to put it that way you have a four acre of land and uh we did uh you know construction like you see them in the previous video that uh, my wife did and so far so good, you know. We're doing we're doing okay, you know. And um, just investment, you know, that's that's all it is, you know. So it was one that I saw today, um I, when I was doing the salon the videos, I had showed you where I wanted to put the wood at on the wall. And I realized that somebody needs to start a manufacturing company for wood and source the local wood. Because a lot of the wood is like the, the wood that's mixed together. And it's not because Africa don't have good, strong trees here to harvest wood. There is. But there's nobody here to process the wood where it can be used for construction. And I'm thinking the only reason why maybe nobody started that was is because a lot of the homes are built out of cement. If the homes were built out of wood, I'm sure something like that would have been here by now. But people still use wood, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they need to It's move mostly move like, um, why do I keep forgetting the name of that wood? I said it earlier. Poly, is it poly wood? No, that's not wood. Co not compost wood. It's the land. That's mixed. It's a certain type of wood where it's just mixed pieces and they do the, they form the wood again with the mixed pieces compared to like a raw tree that was cut into, um, into like slabs. Yeah, to go ahead and use it to maybe do a wall or something like that. That's one business opportunity that that we could definitely uh, the Africa could benefit from. Yeah, there's many, there's many, but you you definitely need to come and see it yeah. on your own. You know, don't yeah. let somebody tell you this is good, this is good, and you got the message. It's not really like what you want. You gotta have some type of you know, what you were looking for, you know. So it's always better to be here, yeah. you know, like especially like in Burkina Faso, even taxis. You can invest on taxis, you know. That's the taxi yeah, service. Yeah, that's a good business, you know. Mm -hmm. We have taxis here, but now they're good beat up. That people keep going, you know, day by day. So the rental good. company. That was something we was looking into. There's a lot. But um, it's definitely something to think about. But do you want to say anything in closing? No. I mean, we're going to be around, you know. We, that would really be our last video, you know. And uh, more, you know, the more video we do, the more talking we're going to have. Really? You know, so that's, that's all I have to say for today, you know. And maybe next time. Uh, we go to the farm and uh, I'll probably show you how the farm looks like. You know, that's like a simple, that's a really simple investment. I mean, it costs a little bit of money, but not that much, you know. So, you know, roughly maybe we spend like what? 
Like for the building? 10,000. Yeah, like 10,000. Yeah, plus this price of the land and stuff, you know. Yeah. And that's not bad at all, you know. Yeah. And in the future, we're planning to do our own house over there at the same time, which will be really nice, you know, that's where, you know, you can Get feel like you can join it. Like, I mean, yeah. add more staff, you know, add all these, you know, yeah. projects and stuff, yeah. you know. Because right now, we live, like, what, it's like, 45 like 20, 20 miles away? Like 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes. Sometimes, one hour is all depend on the traffic, so. Yeah, it's not that close, you know, so. But. Like I said, I don't want my kids to well, I have more video coming up, so, you know, hope okay, everybody right. follow us, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit more happier. Please follow, like, and subscribe. And if you have any comments or you want me to do a video about Burkina Faso, then just you want to know about Burkina Faso, you know, just <laughs> let us know, you know. Mm -hmm. Take it to Burkina Faso. Oh, okay.